Welcome crafters, Andy Azuri here and welcome back to Vehicle Tutorial Tuesday. This is going to be a Supati car. It's made by Supercast on the world of Corrales, an awesome vehicle builder. And it is a little Jeep and a trailer and an ATV. So let's get straight into it. So I, I've put in three rows all the ingredients you will need to make this. This is a block of coal, button sign and a red bit of carpet. So let's get on with this. First of all, as usual, blocks of coal for the tires every vehicle tutorial blocks of coal so we're missing a gap of three and then a gap of five and then the trailer wheels go back like that and of course buttons on every wheel just like every single vehicle tutorial for the last three weeks right so there we go now we're going to switch to our stone brick slabs and we're going to fill in some gaps just like this one two three and one two three but not one two three there it just kind of pokes through like that and that is the main part of the Jeep. Then we want to miss a gap like that, a gap of one. And then we're going to go for two rows of three, one, two, three. And that comes through and swings around back the back, past the back tire. So there we go. There's our Jeep. There's our trailer, just like that. So it's a nice, easy start indeed for us. Now, what we can do at the back of the trailer is stick some lights on the back. So a couple of item frames, red carpets for the back lights. And that really takes care of the, the, the bottom row, which is nice and easy for us. Just in here, we're going to stick a couple of mud flaps, one there. And this one here is going to be named, come on, Supati. Because Supacas, he makes these awesome vehicles and he calls them all. Supatis, it's like his trade name for all his vehicles. So that is the first row. You cannot fail at this, easy peasy. There it is from the top, and there it is from the side. So what I'm gonna do is drop all those materials and pick up the next row of materials we need. Wooden buttons, wool, stairs, more signs, slabs, gates this time. This is bedrock. Now, if you can't place bedrock, you could use black stained clay, something like that. I mean, the flow's texture pack, by the way. Quartz stairs and wooden trap door. Now we're running out of, um, did I put a button at both ends? Oh, that's cool. Um, running out of things in our hot bar, no space in the hot bar, so we'll come back to these cobblestone slabs a little bit later on. Right, now we need to get busy with the wool. One, two, three, just like that at the start. Then we wanna form an H shape. H shape from the top, easy peasy so far, right? Then we wanna put three across here and delete that one and then one block of wool sits right there and since we're in the middle here I'm going to put one block there and stick on a fence gate Oof, right there cool that's it from the top uh, that's it from the side easy peasy right now we're gonna click on to some stone brick stairs and these kind of face back the way at all times like that dum, dum, dum. So these sit above the tires facing back the way until you get round to the front of the vehicle and this time it sits and faces forwards. Okay. Right, so we'll drop a couple of these. Uh, let's drop the stone brick stairs and the stone brick slabs and we're going to pick up this one here, the cobblestone slabs and head towards the back of the vehicle. Right, the tires for the ATV, the all-terrain vehicle sit like that with a couple of quartz stairs facing back in between cobblestone slabs there and there and a trap door right there and we are virtually finished the second layer remember there's only three layers to this vehicle which is cool a little bit of detail in here equals lots of equals and then a few equals like that doesn't matter too many doesn't matter too much how many that's what i meant to say right how are we doing oh we've missed out these slabs need to go in here like that and what we can also do is pick up i'm gonna this is the one thing i have to go into the inventory for item frames hard to pick up there and there with some buttons now what we want to do with the buttons is put the buttons on first <laughs> of course and then the item frames go around like that and like that and there is the headlights at the front of the car and we can also go for more Supati nonsense. Oh, two peas in Supati. Of course, you can put on your own one. 
Jedi 1 is what I usually put on, or Jed 1 on the front of my vehicles. So there we go. Um, other little bits of detail would be buttons there and there, and that creates little door handles. So a little double check everywhere to make sure everything is good for this second layer. Yep, I believe that is pretty good. Oh, not quite. What we can do is put some item frames on the back there and also go back to our first collection of materials and stick some backlights on the vehicle, just like so. Two rows done. I think we're done and dusted there. Slash CI, and we're going to go and pick up our last row. I'm going to choose the glass first of all, and then drop the glass, because we won't need it after this. One, two, three, four, and then a couple of wing mirrors. Boom, and boom. So that's like that. We miss out two rows, and then we do a little L shape of glass, just like that. Right, going to drop all that and pick up the rest of the materials. Grey carpet, um, pressure plate, a couple of slabs, one brick, one cobblestone, more signs. This is snow, a lever, and light grey carpet. So starting with the light grey carpet, a couple of bits there and there for just a little bit of detail. Then we've got dark grey wool, just like that. And this is where the slabs come in. A couple of slabs there. It makes a full block, so you could have made it a full block in your inventory if, if that's easier. No matter. Pressure plates. So what we're going to do is work from the front of the vehicle down to the back of the vehicle. I'm also going to put pressure plates there. So that is all correct so far. A couple of levers there and there. Nice little bit of detail. I do like that. It looks like kind of those metal bars you get on the Jeeps. Absolutely love it. So. So Patty, thank you so much for letting me make a tutorial of your vehicle. A couple of pressure plates there, they go above the tires. And we've got a light grey carpet one. One, two, three, right there. Cool, huh? And that finishes off the back of the vehicle. Next time, um, working our way back, we've got a pressure plate right there. And then we continue. Now, what I want to do is put on some snow here. So we're onto the ATV. And then some dark grey carpet right in the middle. And that means we can now put on our lever. If you put your lever on first, as soon as you make a change, the lever disappears. Boom, like that. So you need to make sure your snow and your carpet and your snow are in place before you put your lever on. Boof, right there. Looking cool. Um... Next, a couple of stone plates there and there, and also a cobblestone slab. I might have to hold down shift to put that onto the trapdoor without activating the trapdoor. Little sign at the back here, don't need too much detail, it's just a seat. It's the back of the ATV. So there we go. We've got our ATV on the back, looking splendid. We've got a little trailer as well, which I love. It's what attracted me to the wards this build in the first place. And then we've got a little Jeep, a little pickup here. So it's a pickup truck and trailer and ATV and thank you so much to Supati for telling me and showing me this design. Brilliant. Hey, hope you guys enjoyed this. If you want to see more tutorials every single Tuesday, another vehicle tutorial, let me know in the comments what you want me to build. Hit that thumbs up button, share this video as much as you can on Twitter and Facebook, Instagram and whatnot, wherever you can do guys. I really do appreciate it. But yeah, thanks for watching. Oh, there's one last thing. There's one last thing we can do. I nearly forgot. Item frames like this and buttons, these little buttons here. This can actually go on the ATV like that. Boom, 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 and boom. That's the last little detail. And it just brings that ATV to life, I think. All terrain vehicle. I'd love one of those. Four by four little vehicles. Superb. Awesome. That's us. Tutorial finished. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next time. Bye-bye.